Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome to my channel. This is your boy, Dangel, from beautiful, amazing, and sunny Los Angeles. And yeah, I know a lot of you guys like my video of uh, dividend investing, investing in general, or how much I make, uh, or how I live here. But today is a very special day because I'm Jewish. I'm proud of my Jewishness. And thank God that he gave me a Jewish life and this planet Earth. And today, I want to discuss with you one recent situation that happened to me with people of Israel that came here as a tourist and asked me some questions. So I'm gonna tell you the story, what we were talking about, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts that came to my head after analyzing that. So subscribe to my channel, leave your likes, comment down below, and let's talk. Guys, I just want to thank you for watching my channel, subscribing, liking, commenting. It's a huge deal for me. Thank you so much. Other than that, my first goal is to become very, very famous singer, rapper, performer. And as you know, those of you who follow me, who are watching me, I have music YouTube channel and the link is in the description. Thank you so much to those of you who already subscribed, watched my music videos, share, shared them. It's a huge deal for me. And if those of you who just started watching me and who never seen me before, I would really appreciate if you could go down to the link in the description on my latest music video and on my music YouTube channel, if you can subscribe on this channel watch the videos and share them that will help me so so much thank you and let's get back to the video so what happened was in los angeles i was wearing this kippa and a little story of this kippa it says god lord king of the universe owner of the universe and the creator and the saver of everybody and everything this is what what says on my keeper. Keep it in mind, you will need it in a minute. So, the guys came to me and they asked me, what's the situation around, what's going on? And I'm saying like, you know, so far, God is taking care of me, so thank him. And then they asked me, am I afraid to walk in Los Angeles with a keeper to be a Jew? In Los Angeles and what is it to be a Jew and to show the Jewishness openly in Los Angeles so first of all we're in the USA in the better place so far on the planet Earth where everybody can protect themselves defend themselves and everybody has equal rights yeah there are some problems but compared to many, many other countries, USA is very, very far higher than anybody else. Repeating his question, am I afraid to be a Jew and show my Jewishness in Los Angeles? And what's really happening to me? You know, that question hurt me a little bit. However, after October 7th, there was a small period when I was afraid of who I am and I tried to hide that under my cap and all this. Well, first of all, I told him, you know, if I'm going to be afraid of who I am, it's going to mean to the God that I don't believe in his power, that I don't believe that he will protect me. Why? On my yarmulke, it says that God is the king of the universe, the owner of the universe, the creator, and the saver. It doesn't say in my head, kill them, kill them, kill them, or oppress them, them, and them. It doesn't say in my kippah that. It's only about God and all the majesty and pleasure to him for all 
great things that he gives to all of us. So why should I be afraid that I idolize in God? There are a lot of smart people who understand that this is the rightest way to live, to idolize God. Once again, nothing radical is on my yarmulke. So normal and smart people should never attack me. And even if I have some uh, concerns inside of me that somebody is going to attack me because I have a yarmulke on my head, that means only my disrespect to God. And that means that I don't believe that he's going to protect me. So nobody ever should do that. Doesn't matter what you believe in and what represents you as a person. If it comes from the God, you should never afraid to show that. So the second thing is, why should I afraid? I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not showing that, um, I don't know, the Jewish people who actually show that, but as a Jew, I'm not showing to the people that we have to um, take them under control, you have to do this with them, or are they going to do it with you? As a Jew, I'm not doing that. As a Jew, I'm living Jewish life, I'm growing my kids in the Jewish traditions, I'm going to Chabad, and I pray as a Jew. And I'm not agitating anybody or involving against somebody's will to be with me. Because we understand that in Judaism, the Jews have to be together. That doesn't mean that you, ha you, you have to deserve being Jew. No. That means that if you're Jewish, welcome. Please come in and pray with us. Be a part of our family. If you are Christian, you wouldn't say the same to the Christian. If you're a Muslim, you wouldn't say the same to the Muslim. Of course you would, because it's your family. We have our families, right? And we have to take care of them. I mean, the actual families, our wives, husbands, our kids, our parents, our brothers, sisters, etc. We have our families, right? And the first, we have to take care of them. And it doesn't mean that we disrespect others, we just take care of us. And this is something people need to understand. If I'm Jewish, if I'm in a kippah, that means that I'm showing who I am and I'm not going against somebody's peace of mind or something like that. I'm just showing myself. And I have a right to do that as well as you do. What I don't have to do is I don't have to come to you and I don't have to tell you that your religion is bad, go to my religion. I'm not doing that. This is against Judaism. And I would never do that. If I would, then you could say, ah, oh, hey, Jews, pay attention, this guy is doing the bad stuff. And that would be right. But I'm not doing that. So I should never be afraid of who I am. Because first, I'll tell to the God that I don't believe in him, I don't believe in his power. Second, I'm actually going to say that any act of, uh, of expressing yourself is against the law, which is stupid. No, it's not. Then I should not be this with the same skin. I shouldn't, uh, I mean, I should not be with my skin. I have to be with somebody else's skin. I should not be with my minds. I should be with somebody else's minds, etc. You know, it's just a common sense. If I'm doing anything good, if, if I'm not doing anything wrong, then I have a total right to show myself. That's a normal thing, and everybody should do that. Once, I had a conversation with one of my rabbis when I was young, and I know we, I was like perfectizing the world, if I can say that. Um, my rabbi said on one of the holidays, Baruch Hashem, that means God willing, one day all Jews gonna stay together, be together, helping each other, appreciating each other, and walk together proudly. Amen. And I was like, yeah, that's a great speech, but what about others? Why shouldn't be we all together, like Jews, Muslims, Christians, Buddhists, etc.? And he said, Daniel, I'm not saying that saying that first all the Jews in the world 
should be together. And today I understand what it means. Jewish people are family. For one Jew, all Jews around is family. As well for the like for the Muslim, all Muslims are family. For the Christians, for the Christian guy, all Christians are family. That what he meant. And the following thing is like all others besides Jews. When all Jews are together, then if we need to, we can go outside of the Jewish people and offer our help. If we need to. But ideally, when all Jews are together, then all Muslims are together. All Christians are together. All Hindus or Buddhists or all Sikhs are together. And we just don't need help. We just don't need. Isn't it perfect? It is perfect. That is so simple. It calls respect. You love your family. You are who you are. And you just respect others. So I'll be here. I want to tell you. Don't be afraid to be Jewish. For all others, don't be afraid of who you are. But you have your teachers who's going to tell you that. I'm Jewish. I'm going to tell to the Jewish people. Never be afraid of who you are. Proudly wear your kippahs. Proudly wear your Star of David's. Your tzitzit. Talis. Whatever makes us Jewish. Proudly wear that. Because this is what God gave to us. And if we reject to wear that just because simply somebody is going to attack us. That means that we tell to the God, we don't believe in your power. Forgive me, please. I believe in power of God. And I will never reject what he gave to me. Shalom Aleichem. Peace to you, everybody. Thank you very much for watching the video up to the very end. Subscribe to my channel. Leave your likes. Comment down below and we'll see you soon.